and welcome to the Mike Les Farmhand Mike YouTube channel, bringing you some of the biggest and best variety and definitely the most versatile farming content on social media today. You can find me on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at Farmhand Mike. When you're running combine and have that view over there, that's just pretty awesome. That's almost as awesome as watching that Mike Les guy on YouTube. That is one good looking tractor and grain cart. Hey everybody, in this video I am doing some farm riding here in Ohio. So after having a good weekend of snowmobiling out in Idaho, then another good weekend of snowmobiling in Utah, and then a good week up in Michigan's Upper Peninsula, we got some snow at home so I got a little bit of farm riding in here so I was able to get my 2004 Arctic Cat ZR900 snowmobile out of the shed. I got my daughter and my daughter's boyfriend are riding my riot some and I was also able to get my new Razor Turbo S out and play with it in the snow. So in this video I got a bunch of different things for you to check out. I even got my wife in this video. She rode in the Razor with me a little bit and I know she's having a great time. Later on in the video you're going to see me get my Razor stuck as I went through one of these snow drifts and apparently I didn't hit it hard enough. Now, you know, I talked about this in other videos. I do these snowmobile videos and stuff because this is what I do for fun. I enjoy it. But, you know, every time I put one of these videos up and I go to my analytics, I actually lose subscribers over these videos. I don't know why that is, but, hey, this is what I do. This is who I am, so I'm going to make a video about it anyways. And, of course, I always get the comments telling me that I don't know how to ride a snowmobile. But, anyways... Let's have some fun here in the snow. And you want to watch this video to the end and watch me get stuck with the razor. I'm just going to talk about some of the comments I've had here on my recent snowmobile videos. I had a guy make fun of my Michigan snowmobile video because I was trail riding. Well, when you go to Michigan, Michigan has a great trail system. And when you go to Michigan, you're going to do mostly trail riding because that's what they have. There is some backcountry riding. However, a lot of that is private property. Unless you know somebody, you can't go out there unless you're trespassing. The other thing is, when I was up there this year, they had a lot of snow, but the snow was not deep enough. If you went off trail, you were going to hit tree stumps and stuff like that, and I wasn't taking that chance on my ride. But it's definitely not backcountry riding like out west. Of course, when I was out west, I had a guy make fun of me because I it was not out playing in the deep powder. Well, when I was out there this year, they had a lot of snow, but it was set up and there was no deep powder on top. So you kind of got to take what you got when you're out there. But that's one thing I've learned since I've had this YouTube channel. There's experts out there on everything. They love to tell you what you're doing wrong. But what I can tell you, this is my YouTube channel and I'm going to post what I want. And I'm going to have fun doing it.
I've never mounted a camera on the back of a snowmobile like this, so I'm going to give this a whirl. I just got this mount. I'm anxious to take this out west, so maybe on my Wyoming trip in March, provided they keep getting more snow and I can go out there in March, I'll try this angle out west. Now, when we're snowmobiling here at home or doing farm riding, I don't ride a lot of miles at home, but I just look for these fence rows where the snow drifted, and I just like to go play in these, tear these fence rows up with these drifts and so forth. Now, we just haven't had the last several years the big snows and the big drifts like we have other years, but anyways, uh, this is pretty much what I do at home, this type of riding. Look at Mrs. Les all serious when the camera's rolling. I mean, you know darn well she's having the time of her life.
I've always said the best things happen when the GoPro is off. So we were just back here playing around with the razor, had the snowmobiles out and everything. Did a couple, little bit of video. Alexander was recording me and I said, jump in, we're gonna head home. And I didn't realize it was this deep. I'm sitting on the frame and we got out, we stomped snow and stuff around and I uh, couldn't get it. So we're a mile from my house. So I literally walked back to the house and I got the Arty Cat Riot to the rescue here. And uh, I have never actually used the shovel on the tunnel bag. I used the one on my backpack, but who would have thought three weeks ago, I was riding in Idaho on a snowmobile, had that thing stuck a lot. Cause that doesn't hang quite with the, with the mountain cats. But uh, I never thought I'd be back in Ohio after two weeks in the mountains and have this thing stuck. So anyways, I think what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna get the shovel out, I'm gonna trench out because I'm sitting on the frame and now I actually have something to hook the winch to. I don't know, the winch will probably pull the snowmobile back, but at least we can get shoveled out of here. And uh, somebody that lives local here already seen my Snapchat story and uh, offered to come help with his razor. So we're gonna get it, otherwise, uh, over there in the barn, <laughs> I can go get a tractor. Uh, I just don't know if I'm gonna get it started today because it hasn't been started, but there is a loader tractor in the barn. And now that I think about it, I actually just thought about that. <laughs> That's actually closer there than it was to my house. But you th think of that kind of stuff later. And we'll probably end up walking there too. But let's see what happens. Entry access shovel here, got the shovel blade on, got this extended out here. So I'm gonna start digging. I did take the snowmobile here and trenched out a little bit. So we're okay. I mean, you can see we're almost the bare ground. So we're gonna get her. I am, we're on the frame. We are, we're bottomed out. But we're gonna get her. That's good. Yep. gonna move first of course yeah well I guess I'm gonna do <laughs> some more all right Half of it is, over half of it is not on the frame anymore. I keep thinking I hear snowmobiles. I do too. Like, I know other people ride through here, and I guarantee you as soon as we get it out, there'll be about six guys on snowmobiles that come by here, but that's the way it goes. This is, this is good. We all learn from our mistakes. <laughs> but when it comes to this kind of stuff, I don't learn. I just push it a little more. We used to do this kind of stuff on three wheelers when I was a kid. Of course, there was always several of us together. And yeah. Okay, so I dig a little bit out of the back here, and we're gonna we're gonna go for it. I want to try the winch just for the heck of it. Nope. Yeah. All right. I'm not on the frame anymore. I'm gonna pull the snowbill ahead and we're gonna try to rock her out of there.
it's all about the momentum. You thought you was hung up there and turning the wheels like that and it grabbed just right. And uh, I don't know if you've seen that in the video where it sank down, so I, I was still setting up there. Of course, we had a bunch of rain before the snow. And uh, so it, there's probably a little bit of wet under there, but we got it now, so we're good. This is awesome. This is one of those deals. Uh, we were just playing around, not, not a YouTube day, but uh, hey, I think this will make a pretty awesome video. That's good. So, yeah, uh, this will probably make a pretty awesome video. Never a dull moment for uh, old farmhand Mike here, and I, I love it when uh, my kids are with me, especially Alexandria. You know, for a girl to get to see this kind of stuff, this is the kind of stuff girls don't get to get into a lot and see. So she learned a couple valuable lessons here, and she said uh, she's glad she never took this thing out in the snow when I wasn't home. But she probably wouldn't have done what, what I did there, but you never know. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. You know the drill. Hit the like button, comment below. If you're new to my YouTube channel, go down there and hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching and supporting my social media.